Welcome back to Die Cash Cars, guys. I am on the road. I am taking a vacation day today, driving four hours down south to Indianapolis to go see my brother. We're going to catch a Bucks and in Indiana Pacers game. But on my way, guys, I'm going to be stopping as many Walmarts and Targets and maybe some other stores that I see along the way to see if we can't find something good in the die cast aisle. And we are here at a Walmart, first store on the list. We're gonna stop in, see if they got anything good. So let's get this journey underway. So here I am at the first Walmart on the stop. And guys, eggs look super promising, super full. Maybe I get my super on the first store, but first and foremost, we got the rest in peace Paul Walker Toyota Supra cartoon version, new for 2023. Oh man, the pegs, they look so promising. This is M case. So I think the super would be, would be the Mighty K or maybe even the Cyclone Comet, one of the two. But, oh guys, I can already tell. I mean, it's kind of telltelling that if the pegs have nothing but fantasy casts on the front, someone's already been here. I'm guessing this super was basically the calling card saying someone's already been here but oh i do see a police livery honda civic fk8 so that'll be a nice one to have for the ride jumping over here to the premiums i do see fast and furious this would be the set with vin's nissan maxima as well as mia's acura integra but those are no surprise gone from the set they do have these canyon warriors as well too which We'd be looking for that Mercedes Chase, but again, I don't see that there. Got some transports, a bunch of Jadas, pinks, these Porsches. They were so hot for a second, and now they're not. Right on the front here in Auto World, we got the Mitsubishi Stereon. I've always loved this car in real life, but haven't picked up any of the Auto Worlds just yet. Quick look here, guys. No reds. No reds. Got some red colors, but those are basically the fool's gold. Now ultra reds there. You got some JLs. Oh, not seeing anything with white tires or white bases, so pretty much a dud. Well, not bad for the first store. On to the next. Go store number two. It is the Target. And man, what's up with the city that I'm in? All these pegs are just jam-packed. Or maybe they just do a really good job of tidying up. Because again, all fantasy, non-sought-after castings on the front row. Basically, the calling car that there is nothing going on here. I do see the custom Camaro, but again, bent card and it was hung kind of funny too. So, again, I'm sure someone's been here. Just double checking what case we're working with E case, and I do see remnants of P case as well, too. Well, maybe it's N case, but yeah, that's what we're working with. Pegs here, pretty empty again i'm i'm trying to make it down south to catch that game so can't spend too much time looking here but do see a bunch of these treasure hunt five packs they're still just hanging here nobody wants them treasure hunt or not got some 143s the mustang you got the rubicon got a bunch of old school ultra hats sitting here the new school old school ultra hats i should say but none of the sought after cast. I'm still on the hunt for that 240Z, so need to keep my eyes peeled for that. Got some new monster jams here. Got the monster mutt, I haven't seen this one in the Rottweiler livery here. That looks pretty cool. And then also this Velociraptor up here too. But yeah, nothing really catching my eye. Coming over here to some of the more premium stuff. Green lights, home improvements, Tim Allen. Got some Thelma Louise, some Starsky and Hutch. Got a bunch of two packs here. Auto World. But don't see the red with the white tires and don't see those raw bodies. So either I'm late or these are all duds. Got a bunch of JLs here. Just gonna fan through them real quick. Not seeing anything white. So yeah, pretty much a dud. I guess on the way in, I did see this is kind of cool. The gold Lamborghini. So there is a premium car culture Fast and the Furious setup right now with this car from Hot Wheels set. So I'm going to skip on the Jada, but I will be looking forward in Hot Wheels premium. 
Also got that R34, that one's classic, looks great. But this caught my eye, guys. Cami Corvette Street Fighter. Always love this video game. Cami, really cool. Super move, her little windmill kick there. But if this box wasn't damaged, this would definitely be in the take home pile right here. You also got Guile right here too with his Ford truck. So pretty cool to at least see this in person, guys. We are sitting here in my Subaru at a gas station, a speedway to be exact, because I got a tip from a buddy that there might be some auto worlds here. Apparently Speedway is part of the whole 7-Eleven chain and here in the Midwest, I've pretty much all but given up hope on those 7-Eleven auto worlds because again, we don't have 7-Elevens here. But fingers crossed guys, fingers crossed that they have some here at this Speedway. So let's get inside and check it out. A speedway guys and talked to the lady up the front counter and she told me that they just got these in last night so the time couldn't have been any better I never thought I would find these because we do not have 7-elevens in our area but again speedway gas stations apparently of all places in the world I never thought I'd be here looking for die-cast cars but look at this three boxes inside of one shipper all the world round two so let's see let's see if there is an ultra red in here and they are all the same cars so it's just the dodge viper 2012 711 graphics and then you got the corvette stingray 1967 but man what an awesome find this morning so see the main lines got a bunch of vipers here and i'm not sure and again this is such an odd configuration and usually you just find one of these at walmart or target not sure what the odds are finding ultra reds and with three of them here is it one per case or is it just one per shipper right so digging in here you got another viper main line Okay, thanks. Let's see, the store clerk just telling me again. Two of the same cars per box. Another Viper. Oh, there we go. White base, white tires. Stingray. 7 Eleven. Chase. This is a take home right here. And we got another base. Another base. So, looks like. I don't know if this is one ultra red for the case or if it's just one ultra red for the whole entire shipper. So we will find out here. Base, base, another base, another base, base viper. And from this angle from the box too, it's hard to tell what's a chase and what's not. White base, so this is a base. That's a base. White tires, that's a base. And then for the Vipers, we got base. Base. Another base. And there we go. Ultra red Viper. Oh my gosh, so we got a pair. That's amazing, guys. Alright, last case here. Let's just double check. So, I mean, we got two of a kind already in Ultra Red, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, not seeing any other... Not seeing any others here, guys. That's a base. Black tires, so... That's pretty much it. So, I think your odds are you can get at least one of each in each shipper, which is pretty sweet, guys. But yeah, I never thought I'd see these. I've seen a lot of people post them. They're kind of the hot thing right now, but pretty awesome that up here in the Midwest, we do have an option with the speedways. So definitely be on the lookout and who knows what other chains that are associated with 7-Eleven that are gonna get these. But yeah, keep a lookout right now, secondary market. 
I believe these are going for like 50 to $60 a piece, you know, maybe even $100 for the pair. So super fortunate and blessed to find these. Again, shout out to my buddy who gave me the tip here. So yeah, keep a lookout guys. So a little gas station break here. It is a speedway on my way down south and look at that, nothing but auto worlds on the pegs. Double checking to see if we can strike another ultra. And guys, it's no joke. Look at that. Auto World Ultra Red Dodge Viper. Let's go. Can't believe it. Finding Ultra Reds at a gas station. Well, brakes over. Back on the road. Right next to that speedway, guys. Believe it or not, there was a Dollar Tree. So the pegs are very empty. Let's just see. Remnants of end case here. But did talk to the store stocker and he brought out two fresh matchbox cases so let's just take a quick look it's been a while since i really dug through much matchbox and these do look to be some of the newer sets here and i have yet to even see this the hyper blue toyota 4runner so this will definitely be a nice pickup on the road It'd be cool to see if we can find a super chase in here i think the porsche is out i've seen leaks of a 4gt but we might be a couple months out from that one hitting our stores we got a subi game got a subaru forester here in the dark gray this might be a a cool one i'll put it in the maybe pile for now i mean could this be it nope that's an audi suv there's a porsche taycan super chase right now as well too but man it's kind of looking like a dud here nope nothing here and we got the I believe this is the 70th anniversary of the Lexus LS400. This actually looks pretty cool too. Let's check box number two here. So again, I think it's gonna be the same exact mix. Yep, got the Lexus. Got some Teslas in here. 2070 anniversary Ford Taurus police cars. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything too great got another forerunner so again first time ever seeing these with mine having two might have to open one i know hot wheels premium is going to be having a toyota forerunner next year in that same hyper blue color so it'd be cool to compare those two and right here we got a big species spider 3000 gt in red recolor and i think that's it guys not much but not a terrible loss because it was pretty cool to get those four runners so quick pit stop on to the next the road i ran into a pick and save and got a bin absolutely empty guys well i think that's my cue on to the next here we are walmart number two let's get inside in the toy aisle not quite the die cast aisle but look at that a gold fast and the ferris lamborghini gallardo goes with the upcoming hot wheels premium version of it and this is an interesting layout hot wheels on the back wall i wonder what the reason is for that but immediately just taking a look at this sign of many collectors in this area it's actually based on my research this area is very collector heavy so i'm not surprised that there's not much going on here just taking a quick look right here i've not seen this set yet this is the marvel x-men set not sure what all the cars are in this series but doesn't look like anything licensed other than this 57 chevy but cool graphics and cool artwork nonetheless coming over here to monster jam oh boy i've yet to see this but the nissan skyline fast and furious new for 2023 not a chase model but it might as well be because these are never on the peg so i'm surprised this is actually sitting here but definitely one i'm gonna be picking up i guess another honorable mention i've seen some instagram pictures of this but this is just a neat idea for your kids guys it is a monster truck with a shark tank in the back that is just sweet might have to talk my son into talking me into picking that up for him but super happy with this find right here skyline on the road and Coming over here, we got the new Toad Mario Brothers exclusive car. 
that's pretty cool. And we got the Mario Kart pair with it. Looking for that Skull Bowser, but I don't think it's gonna be here because, well, it never is. Coming over here to the premiums, I mean, just look at how many Kings of Crunch green lights there are, but I don't see any blue wheels, so no chase pieces. And wow, look at that array of auto worlds on the pegs, but quickly fanning through them. No red, no raw, no white wheels. All duds, or someone's actually been here, but awesome pit stop. Got the skyline, and now I'm on my way. Best place to get Slurpees, 7-Eleven, but we got the next best thing, that's Speedway, another one, guys, on my way down south. And the store clerk was nice enough to allow me to take a look at all three cases untouched. Just doing a quick scan here, not seeing the white base or the white tires anywhere. Not that one, box one, box two. Huh, maybe there are dud boxes. I guess up to this point, we've always found at least one chase and uh, there it is. There's the Viper. Not seeing anything else. It'd be cool to get the Corvette as well too, but it looks like these are all duds, and I don't think you would get two chases in a single carton. Really, I think it's just one or two per shipper, so not bad. I'll take it. Another Viper. All right, so here I am at one of the busier speedways. You can tell there's a number of people here, and look, I've never seen this yet, but it's like a whole Christmas tray full of toys, and there we go. We got some Auto Worlds, got the Corvette, the Corvette, another Viper, all duds here, and Last Car Magic. We got some Disney cars in there, so dud bin. Well, guess you can't win them all. On to the next. So funniest thing, the second I was done looking at the tray, the store clerk came back gave me two more boxes and said are you looking for these looked inside and sure enough got the corvette ultra red back to the road found trip. a kroger's and look at this they got some pacer gear ready for tonight's game and i did find the toy aisle so an official kroger's not what i'm used to up in the midwest but look at this they got three mini bins so let's double check and just see what they got Got the Mazda Cosmo, so this is an F case. These cars feel pretty crisp. You guys ever do that? Feel the cars, see how crisp they are, to see how fresh the case is. Doesn't feel super fresh, but doesn't seem too worn out either. I'm guessing this was probably a fresh case maybe a day or two ago, but F case. I'd be looking for that Godzilla Skyline. Not seeing that, not seeing the $55 gasser. I mean, there's too many of those things in most cases for you not to see them right off the bat. So my guess is this is all the picked over, which is no surprise. Collectors are just everywhere, guys. So no super. Oh, we got three bins back here, or four bins, actually. There's two of them back here. One was hiding behind the other so just doing a quick sweep here yeah looks picked over well it was fun just to see a bin and just to get my hopes up guys but i think we can safely say this is a dead bin and turning the corner over here look at this they got some other hot wheels look at that five packs and right up front the nissan pack i've honestly only found this maybe two times and i only have two so i might actually pick this up especially since it's on sale only 4.89 that's a pretty good deal let's see what others are around here maybe they got the fast and the furious set oh they do got this drift set with the a86 that's kind of neat but i think i have one of these already too so pretty cool and then over here they do have a peg aisle so this is probably more their mainstay but looks pretty bare bunch of main lines got another cosmo back there got a little nissan z action but yep that should be it for this store 
on to the next. So as I was walking down the aisle at Meyer, I see they got their Christmas displays going on here with all these toys. And look, blue bin, undeniable. It's Hot Wheels. And it looks like we got M case and just feeling the card. It's pretty fresh, guys. Look at that right off the bat. You got the Tacoma in white. Need to add some of those to the collection. Got another one here. This is cool. So Myers does this gold card hot wheel. It's like they're exclusive and you can tell it's the card is just cut differently. There's no J hook on it. But typically these are like you buy $10 and you get one free, but I don't see a sign anywhere. So I'm just going to leave this here. I'm not even sure what this casting is. It looks kind of funny. M case. So I think the super would be the mighty K. Clearly not the super. Just seeing what else is in here. You got the FK8 police livery. So that's pretty neat. I picked up a couple of those at the Walmart or Target that we were at. And then you got the Falcon Ford Mustang as well too. But yeah, I think this looks pretty picked over. Just looking around there. Again, it's not nicely arranged, so I'm guessing it's been picked over, but cool to see what the new gold card exclusive is at Myers. So I had another speedway here, and this is the most unique and creative way I've seen of displaying these 7-Eleven Auto Worlds Eclipse Strip. So all the way down, very easy from us collector's standpoint to just see if there is a white base and white tires for that ultra red and i'm not seeing it guys nothing all the way down to the bottom all green all white all orange so it's a dud but pretty awesome a little pit stop at a dollar general that i passed right on the road and empty pegs but for all you folks who are diehard dollar general shoppers you got to take advantage of this 25 percent off 75 dollars on a single transaction so if you buy 75 hot wheels get 25 percent off so i'm losing count guys i don't even know which target this is second or third but might be a quick one guys pegs empty premiums empty looking at the Two packs here. Look at this. Got the HKS. Can't miss that HKS camo there. So this will definitely be a pickup. Nice score on the road. I've actually never found this in stores. I've only been able to pick it up from the Mattel Creations website. But happy I found this. And Monster Jam, Monster Trucks are all duds. I'm going to guess there's no the world ultra reds i've never found an ultra red two pack don't see any white lightnings just double check in nothing so well i guess we'll end on this gold lambo but we will definitely be grabbing that hks two pack and here we made it to the game guys pacer stadium gaines bridge field so there you have it the very humble haul from the trip down south I drove through three states, over 300 miles, and went to 15 plus stores and gas stations, guys, and it all paid off. I mean, just goes to show when you get off the couch, guys, you can definitely find some pretty awesome pieces out there. A lot of this stuff, guys, is non-existent in my area because of just the sheer amount of collectors out there, but it's nice to know that out there in the u.s there's definitely still stores that are unpicked unscavenged and if you really want a specific car or release if you're willing to put in the time and effort you'll definitely find what you need guys five ultra reds i've never had a haul quite like that but it definitely makes up for only finding one super treasure hunt so far this year but man i am still stunned about finding all five of these at gas stations no less i mean that's just the most interesting absurd story that i'll be able to tell people for a long time coming aside from those though i'm super excited about this monster trucks fast and furious nissan skyline looks great 
definitely need to add it to the Fast and the Furious collection. And I can't wait for the blue Nismo Skyline monster truck to come out. But that's what I got for you guys today. Let me know how you think I did on this haul. Let me know what kind of adventures you have been on your own Hot Wheels and Diecast hunting journeys. Like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time on Diecast Cars.